So we actually have two exhibitions from Cindy Sherman. We have the early works, the works that she made during um, her student years, uh, also the untitled film stills, that was really her international breakthrough work. And then we have a very big exhibition called Anti-Fashion, and it's uh, the work of Cindy Sherman um, from the early years until now, um, through the lens of fashion. So in the exhibition Early Works, we have works that really go back to her uh, student years uh, when she was studying um, art in, in Buffalo in the United States. And this is, this is work that is rarely shown. So it's really a discovery um, that you can find here. Um, and you see all the, the basic, all the, 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 the seeds of what she will continue to do throughout her whole career. Um, her artistic strategy is really being developed in those years and you can see that very clearly. Cindy Sherman is, a, is an exceptional artist and she works with photography, so um, it, that itself is exceptional because it, it was in the time when she started in the 70s, the 80s, it wasn't at all uh, acceptable to, to work with photography as, as a, a, a final product of the artwork. Um, so that was, was really, she was a, a pioneer in that, also as a woman, um, not to forget. And she has kept on um, being that artist and, and uh, repeating that same strategy very consequently um, over the, the 50 years of her career. So that's a really exceptional and, and she has always remained very relevant in that. So the link between Enz, James Ensor and Cindy Sherman is uh, very obvious visually because of the masquerades that they both um, do, but also they have a very uh, strong critique towards uh, the society they live in and they um, they are also very provocative in their arts. This is something that they do, uh, both of them, um, that they keep on pushing the boundaries of what the art world ex uh, expects, but also what society can expect. Cindy Sherman is an, is an artist who uses photography um, as a medium. Um, I wouldn't call her a photographer, she's really an artist. And in uh, using that medium, she also um, reflects, reflects on that medium. So she, she, in a way, critiques the medium because her main inspiration is always in, in the mass media, in, um, in movies, in magazines, in fairy tales, in, inst um, in internet and Instagram right now. Um, so she's always been very consequent in reflecting on the most popular or most dominant uh, mass medium from her time and then um, kind, of, kind of holding a mirror towards that medium. And she's done this, uh, she's always known that photography plays such a big role in, in the mass medium and that's why it's, it's so interesting for us as a photo museum to, to have her vision on that medium and to give it back to our visitors. <laughs> 